A lot of your work is about making lifestyle changes long term, not quick fix, short solutions. But in such a fast paced world, aren't quick fix solutions the only thing we can really hope for? Yeah, I don't. I hear you. And I mean, I think that's, that's something that we've been taught in, in our culture that we don't have time. Um, we don't have time for what? Life. We're living life. Life is going to come and go. And that's the end of it. So, I mean, if we're, you know, if God willing, we have 80 years, 80 years is going to come and we are going to live each one of those days. So a lifestyle uh, versus a short term quick fix. Yeah, the short term is um, it's a money maker. It's just a money maker. It's um, if I could make a, an analogy, it's like fashion. This is short term quick fixes. And the reason why is because if it wasn't purse or whatever you buying would last for the next 20 years. But and you wouldn't be spending money. Short-term fixes are a fad. It's not the right idea. Um, lifestyle is something that we understand, but we don't understand it when it comes to health and wellness because it's not. We're not really educated to understand this. But I can make a point. I'll ask uh, anyone. Let's say, for example, I have a 40-year-old woman in my office. I'll ask her, "Do you brush your teeth every day?" And she says, "Yes, of course." I said, oh, okay. Do you shower every day? You clean, you wash? Yes, of course. Like, I mean, yes, of course. I'm always, like, it's like I'm asking a stupid question. Oh, I said, oh, and you're how old? I'm 40. So you've been doing this for 40 years? Yes. Oh, okay. Why? And they say, well, I don't know. Well, why do you brush your teeth? Why do you, well, I want to smell good. I want my teeth to look good. I want, I, I want them to be great. I said, oh, okay. So I see. So who taught you that? And they say, no. Uh, my mom? Yes, your mom. Your mom taught you that. And the way she taught you that was that she did it for you. You know, from, you know, as soon as you got teeth and as soon as you were born, wash you and te- you know, brush your teeth. And, and then once you could brush your own teeth, she told you every single day to brush your teeth, brush your teeth, brush your teeth. Never let you forget it. Every day and wash, wash, wash. And this continued to go on and on and on every single day. And you really didn't care about it at one point in your life. I mean, at eight years old, if you're out playing in the dirt and eating a mouthful of chocolate and then your mother says it's time to go to bed, you don't care if you go to bed dirty. You don't care if you got chocolate in your teeth either. But she does brush your teeth, shower, constantly, constantly, constantly. And then somewhere in your life, I said to her, this woman, you know, sometime in your life, maybe some, something happened. You saw somebody with really bad teeth or you saw someone that smelled really bad and you said, oh my goodness, I never want to be like that. So then the very next day, well that day you established a value, a reason why you wanted to do it. And then the very next day you brush your teeth, not because your mother told you or because it was habit, but because you wanted to have something and you wanted to be this way. Now you do it every single day. You're 40 years old and you're still doing it. And you'll do it to the day you die. What's the quick fix? What, plastic caps in your teeth? painting them, that's a quick fix. That doesn't change anything. That doesn't fix anything. That's a band-aid or whatever you call it, a stick. That's nothing. 40 years of brushing your teeth and and and, and showering is a lifestyle. It's part of your lifestyle. And it is so ingrained in the way that you are that you don't wake up in the morning and say, okay, my to-do list today is take out the trash. I've got to go to the lawyers. I've got to brush my teeth and oh yeah, I got to have a shower. These are things that are just automatic, but we're not born into them. We're not born into these things. Human beings weren't born to brush their teeth. It's not normal, so it's taught. So lifestyle, when it comes to health and wellness, is not something that um, people understand. They weren't taught this thing, and so um, you know, it's it's not something that's it's, it's necessarily a need for them until they understand the importance of it. Until they understand that eating is the one thing that eating or the lack thereof will kill you, and it needs to become a lifestyle, and it needs to be something that's implemented into your life so that that every day you're doing this without thinking. That, you know, that you're not jumping ship and doing a, a quick fix here, quick fix there, which ultimately is going to harm you and, and uh, you know, affect your confidence and your self-esteem based on the effect of whether this works or this doesn't work, but rather doing something, eating every day and eating every so many hours because you're feeding your body, because you understand the body needs to be nourished, because your brain needs to be nourished. This is something that becomes a lifestyle. And in, in that, it's not an effort whatsoever. To be to work uh, to to exercise to to work your body to I don't mean going to the gym every day it could be going for a walk go you know climbing a mountain it could be it doesn't make a difference something active to incorporate incorporate this into your life on a continual basis so that it becomes automatic and makes a lifestyle only makes your life healthier stronger better you're taking time for yourself you're creating an environment for yourself that is positive and it's really it, it, there's nothing negative about it um, 
this is something that needs to be implemented. Uh, this is where education comes in because you need to teach people to do these things and not cut these ideas out. Uh, and they need to be number one. Um, that's a lifestyle and that's something that one can maintain. And if you see someone who actually has a healthy lifestyle, you'll see someone who is healthy, who's confident, who's happy, who's proud, who's strong, who um, has a good life. Uh, and not to say that the people that don't do these things don't have a good life, but it's not going to, it will never be as fulfilling in so many ways. They will, they will run into issues, whether it comes to health, when the, way too soon. And many things are affected when health is not part of lifestyle. And it's interesting, I mean, if you talk to people, um, uh, you know, you'll, you'll see that individuals will work, you know, 12, 16 hours a day to chase, you know, the money. You know, that's their lifestyle. Um, it's, it can be negative, it can ruin a lot of things, ruin families, ruin this, ruin this, and so on and so forth. Um, but when it comes to health and wellness and having a better feel for themselves and a better connection with themselves, people don't have time. And so, as you said, you know, you know, is the, the quick fix, I mean, you know, it's just, it's not a better thing. It's not a better thing in the long run, it's not a better thing in the short run. Um, it, you know, from dollars and cents, it doesn't make any sense to do quick fixes because you're going to be spending money repeatedly into something like digging a hole, put your money into it. A lifestyle, once you're educated and you understand that to create your life and to live this life uh, however you see fit, however it is good for you, um, to adopt that in everyday life will be an establishment of a lifestyle that is healthy and rewarding.